Will's just turned this. Let's be all coming out of there. Welcome to this video. Uh, this video is going to be the walk around of the other M5. Um, so, <laughs> what do you reckon, Lonis? Should, should we do a walk around of the M5? <laughs> what do you reckon? I think that means a yes. <laughs> so, first off, this is the M5 which was used as an artillery tractor. I should probably point that out because I didn't point that out in the last one. This is an artillery tractor. This one. Um, bit of history behind it we found out this one was actually in a uh, full metal jacket this is the picture which is pretty cool so that's that's one uh, thing about it the nda had pulled out of our area um, you can actually tell by this so this has like got a big dent here on the cowling on the engine. Um, as you look at the picture, again, <laughs> uh, so you can see that it's got the same dent. Um, and the guy that I bought it off, uh, they told me it was from there. Uh, I'm pretty sure it is. Whatever. Um, as you can see in the videos, the tracks do still turn. Um, and this one's on road tracks. Where is that one over there? That one's on battle tracks. This one's on road tracks. Yeah, they all still turn. This one, the chassis, is a lot better than the other one. Yeah, this one has been preserved a lot better than the other one. Um, obviously, it's rusty in the right places. Yeah, no, it's alright. Everything turns, the sprockets are good, the tracks move, um, so it's the expensive stuff out of the way. Moving around here, a lot of the tin work is it's still here, but it's it's bent and needs straightening. But a bit of gas on there, a bit of work on that will straight, straighten that out. Uh, if you look in here, we've still got, you can even still see on the checker plate, which is pretty cool. Got the light covers there. Um, all these wings need straightening. Unfortunately, someone's hacked off the winch and the bumper. So we don't have a winch or a bumper anymore, which is a little bit of a shame, but I'm sure we'll find one. If anyone's got a winch or a bumper, I need one. Uh, follow Lana around here. What are you eating? Spit it out. Spit it out. She's eating it. Whatever it was, she's eating it. Um, should we get in it? Let's have a look inside. So obviously you would stand on the bumper, which isn't there anymore. Reason for the helmet is it's quite easy to bang your head. Come on up, come on in. Come on in. <laughs> right. So if we look inside here, obviously we've got the uh, driver's seat, which would be there. Um, a lot of the pipes and stuff are still there. There's the tillers, which at the moment don't move, but I mean, everything's pretty much here on this one. You've got the, you've got both the pedals there, throttle pedals, clutch, brake. Um, the gearbox moves, so that's pretty good. Um, that's why I was wearing a helmet. <laughs> We've got most of the 50 cal gun ring on this. For some reason it's been hacked off and we've only got this bit missing, which is a bit of a shame. Um, but at least it is still kind of there. What do you reckon? Not interested. Not interested. Yeah, some more parts here. Um, I'm not really sure what that is. That's part of the headlight. That's the thing there. Uh, this is where all the shells would be kept in here. You can see where the holes are. Uh, some of the doors still move. Oh yes, I'll go in there. Um, yeah, so you can see where the shells go. I think, it, I think this would tow a 105, I think. So moving on to the engine compartment, if I climb over here. Oh God, I'll nearly climb through one or the other. 
This is what's left of this engine. This has been salvaged to parts by the looks of it, so there's not a lot left of this one. Um, although it's still in better condition than some of the bits on that one. So if you can make two out of, out of one, like there's, I think that's like an oil cooler or something, or part of the radiator, because there's another radiator that's missing. That one's a bit flat. Got most of the leads and stuff. Both well, both the leads and the battery cover battery goes in there. That's about it for the in there really. Like I say there's not much left of the engine. But I do have another engine on the way, so if we can get this one going or that one going, I don't know yet. We've got to work out a bit of a plan, haven't we? Yeah. So once yeah, once we make a plan, we can go from there. But it's got both of the got the toolbox things still, but it's missing the lids. Well, the chassis is in better condition than that one, um, and most of the, you know, the body parts are in better condition. Like all this framework um, is a lot better than anything else. You know, it's all pretty good. It's all pretty solid, really, and a lot less work than the M5A one, uh, which we just covered up in here for now. <laughs> you coming? Come on in. Come on. Yep, that fell through. <laughs> I've broken your tank. Thanks. All right. Um, again, you can see on the engine here that there's not a lot left. That would have like an oil. No, sorry. It's a water cooled fan, which is missing. Um, tow and I works and moves. Most of the kind like, these like I guess these are like storage areas, storage, 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 <laughs> storage compartments. Um, are in better condition than the other one. That one's still got its top tray, which is all right. There's a cover that goes here, but they're not bad. Like I said, this chassis is a lot better, um, and it's definitely this one's definitely savable compared to the other one. A lot less work, anyway. Yeah, that one's not too bad. It's got both of these. That one that Roman nearly fell through is still there, just about. It was fully on before I fell through it. <laughs> um, yeah, so pretty much, really, this one is, is what it is. It's kind of like... Most of it's all complete, apart from the engine. Um, obviously things need straightening. It's just been knocked around a lot, this one to be fair. People just pushed it around and don't really care about it. But for a film star M5, I think it's pretty good. And it's worth saving, so. Um, well, it's had some bits of wire, as you can see it's got like tape on it and stuff. That's for the lights, which are still there. Like it's quite good that most of the wiring's still there because we can trace it and when we put it in. Yeah, when you put it back in. Same like all the radiators. I mean, look at the state of this radiator here. It's been flattened and it's pushed all this in. It'll only straighten in, but the floor it ain't bad, really. Um, it's just missing the tinware, like all the tinware, all that kind of stuff. But we've got, like I say, we've got parts which we looked at before. We've got like engine covers, the back cover there, that's parts. These are, this is actually the framework. That's not, I don't know what that is. But like that piece and this piece, that's all the framework, what goes on the front. Um, I'll show you that. Like it all goes um, across here, so all, you can see actually there's a bit left on it here. So that would go all the way across that bit I showed you, and then there'd be a canvas what goes over the top. We could probably make stuff at the same, you can say, save what we can and straighten it out. And just find, there should be a windscreen what goes here. Which a guy said he's got, which is in America. So we might be able to find one of those. And it's just a shame about the winch because it's been hacked off and bent. The winch should sit here with the, with the big front bumper what goes there. I'll show you on the other one so you can see what I mean. So basically this is what the other one would look like at the front. So like forgetting about that half up, this so that it'd have a bumper like this with, a, with like a toe and eye on there. The winch would be there like that, um, which you can see is missing. And that's yeah, that's basically how the setup is. So you've got the, the front bumper with the winch in the middle, uh, which has been hacked off, which we are missing, which is a shame because I can imagine they're quite hard to get hold of or quite expensive. But yeah, that's how it's supposed to look.
Roman's just found as well. What's that? In RAS Rasp. Raspy. Yeah, loads more, it? it says, shine it that way a little bit. That's it. Yeah, it definitely says 1975, isn't it? Yeah. So someone's. No, that's a date, look, because they've carved lines there. So, be... so it's the 1st to the 9th, 75. Right, there's like graffiti over, which is pretty mad. So that was the walk around of the M5 high speed tractor. Uh, I hope you like this video. Please like and subscribe, uh, and I'll see you in the next video when me and Lana are doing a bit more. Right, Peace.